Hello everyone, it is Kinjiru and I'm back for part two of this guitar lesson series, because it will be several different parts. So this will be part two of the guitar lesson for Eruption by Van Halen. And per usual, we'll do a quick review. And I forgot to let you guys know at the end of the first one how many dive bar dips to do with that A string. So we will cover that here. All right, so here we go again, right? Re quick review. So we do four bar dips, and I also showed a variation with the strings, because in the first one, I showed how from the fourth fret, you slide up to the 14th, pull off to get the uh, low E with the dive bomb for his first one in eruption, and then cover these strings as you're pulling off the A. Well, you can also do that right here, all right? You can just... After the after those slow notes he does, right? Coming out of this, right? Coming out of this. So right there, you could just, you know, use your ring finger and pull off on the uh, low E and do your dive bomb. So right there. Okay. Following that, that's when he gets into the chords, which is going to be A, G, and D. All right. Now, when he hits that D... The thing is, you got to slide up. So, you know, you want that sound. In the recording, you, you'll hear that, right? And mainly with this G, it's, you know, the middle finger on the third fret of the low E and the ring finger on the uh, high E on the third fret. But you're mainly hitting the D and the G, really. You know. And then we go to that D. It ain't a full D chord, though. It's it's index finger on the second fret of the G, ring finger on the third fret of the D. We're not using the middle finger, okay? So he just picks that D, the open D, and then the G string in the high uh, B string, okay? So again, it's you know, you'll hear that in the recording. Then what we're going to do is we're going to jump up here to the uh, the 20th fret of the of the B and the 17th fret of the high E. Okay. And we're going to do a series of bends, you know. So very quick, though. Then he goes like this. Thank <laughs> you. 
guys can see that. the tabs are that's how a lot of people teach it but honestly I'm hearing something different so you can use that version if you want but what I do is rake pick because he's got some funky stuff going on right here it sounds to me more like this more like that so he'll bar, it sounds to me like he's barring the G string and the high B. And then he's using the index finger on the 17th fret. Okay, so he's rake picking, it's an arpeggio. <laughs> That's what I usually do. That's usually how I play it. I go. can see that. So there's a couple variations. I mean, the stuff he does in that recording, it's so fast, I don't even know how anybody can really discern what he's doing. You know, and I've seen so many versions of this, but to me, that's what I hear. So you can do this way, you could go this way with it, could go or you could go they all sound very similar but I'm hearing a rake pick in there okay and then he goes back to this he, after that So there's a, a lot more bends he's doing after that lick. A so after the... Then it's back to... It's back to this. Alright. So that'll do it for this part too, okay? So just remember what I mentioned about the whammy bar. You know, you got this. continue on with part three very shortly so thank you for watching everyone and i hope that you're getting this eruption under your fingertips and i 
like I said, I want to break this up in parts so that that way everybody can absorb it instead of just in one lesson and trying to absorb all this because there's a lot going on. So I will see you sh uh, shortly. Do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. And thanks a lot, everyone. Have a great one.